what would you say to someone who's sitting at home, barely keeping the lights on, thinking, well, you know, good for you, Lisa. You know, you went out and raised, I don't know what we're talking here. Got to be, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand pounds, right? At least to buy five properties. I don't know where you bought them, but at a minimum, it's unimaginable for the majority of people. We know that when you have education and when you are able to relay information confidently and eloquently and be very clear on what you're saying and be very clear on your numbers. And when you're already dealing with people who know, like, and trust you, like you said, we know that it's possible. So what would you say to someone who's sitting at home thinking, you know, sounds great, but there's no frigging way. I work in Tesco's, right? I'm barely keeping the lights on. This stuff's just not possible. I would say that um, find the deal. So start start looking around your area um, and and understanding is your area the right area um, for for investment. Say so it's all about finding your golden area. So I. I do some research on that. You can do a lot online. There's a lot of free information out there even um, online. Uh, but I, I would always advocate for paid learning. Like I, I, I would go so far as say, look, take out a small loan if you have to and get some proper paid learning, but get a good reputable company because there's a lot of kind of trainers out there that would obviously just take take anyone's money, say. Um, but the one thing um, I, I would say is do paid education, check out your areas, um, and also go through your phone book um, because, you know, you've got a list of contacts there that, that that you believe they've got money and don't approach them yet. Get your get your homework done, get your research done. So first of all, you need to kind of get a bit of training, I would say, even free training if you have to find your, say, your, your property. Um, and then you can approach then I've got a great deal here uh, and pull together like an investor pack. Um, and all it's got to be is a, say, a picture of the property. Any plans that you plan on refurbing, you know, what do you expect to be doing to the property? Um, maybe split into three or four, five bedrooms. How much can this achieve? So put your put all your numbers down, um, and then how much of an interest then that you you plan on say paying? And it will show that them then that you've done your homework. Like even income minus all your costs equal. This is the profit you're going to be making, and this is the interest that they they're going to be making. And I think it would be. Um, but the one thing I would say is it's not like it is doable and it is pretty simple, but it's not easy. OK, so that's the one thing I'd like to kind of people to understand is that um, you're putting yourself out there. Like I never was on social media before this. I'm constantly on social media now, putting myself out there, getting people to kind of know who I am. Um, so it's 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 very simple to do like if you follow the rules and actually do the steps but you really got to want it and I suppose there's going to be a lot of people out there that are in their comfort zone like yeah they've got a job yeah they don't really like it but look it's grand it's paying the bills you know they're in that kind of that limbo appreciating kind of the mediocrity zone. that they're experiencing yeah and comfort is you know what what I realized was I don't want comfort. Like I'm always looking for the next thing, say the next opportunity. Um, but equally, there's a lot of people out there that were that are just striving for that comfort. And it, the proper being in the property game and building a portfolio um, is, is not a comfortable thing to be doing. Um, and it's so so. Yes, I would say um, it's very doable. And there is a part and there is very much systemized ways to, number one, raise finance, number two, find the perfect property. It's very, um, it, it's very kind of um, prescriptive. However, you've got to follow it. And if you go on a lot of those training courses, you'll see that probably only maybe 80 percent, like probably 80 percent won't actually do much. They're just like course junkies. 20 percent will actually do something. And when they do it and they follow it, then they can go really fast.